I'm going to show you some proof that Steven Anderson has a very, very angry spirit. Here's a, a clip from his uh, sermon he preached, and in this clip he is screaming at his congregation. Real nice. Let's check this out. You know, funny. Just, just he just screams and yells. It's crazy. So you've been handing out a false gospel. How many have you handed out? Do a little estimate in your mind. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 1,000? Did you bother to read it before you handed it out? Did you read it first before you handed it out? Probably not. And I can guess why. Because the same kind of person who's too lazy to read the back of the church track is the same kind of person who's too lazy to read their Bible cover to cover. And it's the same kind of people who want to go by what somebody says instead of what this book says. Ooh, we're very angry, aren't we? You know, just screaming and yelling and takes his Bible and, and hits his Bible. I, I mean, is that how you're supposed to treat the, the Word of God? You, you slam it on, on the pulpit and you hit it? This guy's got an angry spirit. And listen to me. This church has always stood for the same thing, and it came out of this book right here. Okay, just take your Bible and just slam it on the pulpit again. That's really nice. I mean, again, this is, this is, how, you, is this how you treat the Word of God? No. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's crazy. Let's continue. And let me tell you something, buddy. You better read this book, and you better read the track, and you better know what you're doing. He hit his Bible so hard his mic fell off the pulpit. I mean, and this guy's called to preach. His next video of Anderson kicking out a uh, unrepentant troublemaker, and uh, the whole backstory behind this is, you know, Anderson does have a reason to kick the guy out, but just the way he goes about it is kind of weird and kind of kind of hostile too. Here has texted people without coming to me. Look, if he had a problem with my doctrine, shouldn't he have come to me, yeah, yeah. or should he be going behind my back and backbiting? going to other church members who never asked his opinion, mind you, never even asked and said, hey, uh, Chris, what do you think about Pastor Anderson's sermon? He just texts them because he saw them on YouTube defending me. So, because so obviously Anderson does have a, a reasonable cause to be angry at this, uh, this uh, whatever the guy's name, I don't know what the guy's name is, but uh, he has a reason to be angry, but watch how he, watch how he goes about it. Watch this. As they were on YouTube defending me, he takes it upon himself to rebuke them for the defending the pastor of his church, calls my statements wicked and evil. And listen, this, you know, I know your, your faggoty buddy, Ashton Yakton, lets everybody get up and say whatever they want. But in this church, it's not a... I kind of agree with him there. Uh, Ashton Yakton, whatever the guy's name is, he is kind of faggoty. I mean, he, he is kind of sissy, but, you know, a uh, bit off topic, but just had to point that out. For all. It's not an open mic. You don't come to this church and pretend to be a faithful member of the church while you're going behind the pastor's back. Did you ever have the guts to confront me with that, Chris? Huh? Did you ever have the guts to confront me with that, Chris? No, you didn't. You didn't have the guts, you coward. You're like Judas. You want to go behind my back. I want you to get up and get out of this church right now. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. Chris, the guy Chris, whatever his name is, is right back there. Just in case you're wondering where he's at. If you're saved or not, you don't come to this yeah. church and backbite the pastor without even having the guts. Check this out. So he tells the guy to get out, and then some guy tries to kind of just say, oh, you know, we shouldn't be going about it like this. And he kicks, he kicks that guy out, too. The guy that says, oh, we shouldn't be going out like this. I mean, he goes crazy on this clip. Let's keep watching. In front of yourself and go around and say all this stuff, huh? Why do you want to be here, Chris, if I'm tampering with the gospel? There are 40 other independent Baptist churches in this town that are King James only that don't, quote, tamper with the gospel. So why don't you go join one of them, Chris? Why are you even here? Oh, really? But the pastor makes wicked and evil statements and tampers with the gospel. That's not a great church, Chris. You're right. Disagreeing with, disagreeing with what I preach is not a reason to be kicked out. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, coming from Anderson, I mean, he kicks people out all the time that disagree with him. I mean, uh, I mean, there's some videos out there just exposing the fact that he just 
is that if you go against him, if you go against this new IFB system, you're automatically lost and on your way to hell, essentially. You know, it, it's like, there, I mean, this is a video from the Lies of the Devil, it's a YouTube channel. He has a video, I, I believe it's him, he has a video where it's like basically new IFB saying agree with us or you're, you're lost, essentially. These new IFB, it's a cult, essentially. It, it's essentially a cult because they will just go against anyone who, who, who disagrees with them and just cuts on them and, and just rail against them and stuff. It's crazy, the cultic behavior of this uh, new IFB, you know? That's <sighs> ridiculous. Because listen to me, no one in this church agrees with me on everything. Skip ahead. The difference between not agreeing and calling the pastors preaching wicked and evil and accusing him of tampering with the gospel behind his back without ever bringing that to me. Do you see the difference, Chris? Get out of here, idiot. Pick him up and take him out if you want. I check this out. Some guy tries to vote for him, and he kicks that guy out, too. Check this out. Take him out. Hey, get out of here. I didn't ask you. You've never even been here, fool. Get out. Get out. Okay. You know, the guy just said we should pray for him, and he just, get out, get out. You know? I mean, this is how all cult leaders act. They, they rule by fear. Anderson, Anderson just displaying the characteristics of a cult leader by ruling by fear. I mean, the guy just, just points out, hey, we should pray for him, and he's like, get out, get out, get out, you know? Because this is the problem with this whole IFB system. You have one pastor, he's the man of God, and he just, just builds up an ego about himself, and to the point where they just, they're just like, they rule like a dictator, essentially. That, that's the problem with this whole IFB system. Get out! You don't just walk in here and start telling us how to run the church. We got a bunch of filthy faggots out there protesting us right now. We're in a battle right now. Get out of here! You need to ask your advice. Pick him up and get him out of here if he won't leave. Yeah, that's fine. Take your time. Yeah, so you get the picture. So he just kicks guys out of the church for just simply speaking up, you know? Typical of what cult leaders to just rule by fear. But check this clip out. This clip is even more crazy. He is screaming at Tyler Baker, this uh, ex-deacon. He's just screaming. He's literally just, I mean, like like this kind of thing, but like tone, tone, like toned up to like 0.11 or something like that. It's crazy. Check this out. Unfreaking believable. Had her in Josh Hall last night at some barbecue or something. I was not. You're going around telling everybody about Babylon. You're telling everybody oh about your God. oneness Pentecostal crap. You suck as an employee. You have sucked the whole time you worked here. You got so what a great boss treating your employees like that. Again, just proving he's a cult leader. He's just ruling by fear. He's just screaming and yelling at them. I mean, this is not how a pastor is supposed to act. A pastor is supposed to, you know, oversee, the, obviously he's not the flock, he was a deacon, but, you know, again, you're supposed to oversee the flock, not threaten them and yell at them. <sighs> it's crazy. You're not singing your own praises. I have been this close to firing you every month. The only reason I kept you around is because I don't want to rock the boat, you're leaving anyway. You know, if I had to work with you for the rest of my life, I would have fired you a long time ago. You are lazy. You suck. You've never done anything that I told you to do beyond the minimum. Any extra, hey, try to work on this, try to get this done. You do the minimum of everything. You phone it in. At the best of times, you're a C minus. He can say that. Garrett will say the same thing because we've observed your habits of doing nothing and being able to move there just because they just want to move there. And I thought it was great. So, again, just proving that Anderson has an angry spirit. I mean, just screaming, like, oh, get out, get out, you know, get out, you know, oh, you know, just, you know, slamming your Bible, hitting on the pulpit. I mean, and this guy's called to preach. Sure. He's a, he's not a real pastor. He's a um, cult leader. And this whole new IFB, whole IFB cult in general, and they rule by fear. And this is proof of that. So, anyway, don't, don't be deceived by this whole new IFB system. God bless you. Goodbye.